Hello my dear students welcome to vision academy in this video we are going to write a program to find the sum of the series 1 plus x plus x to the power 2 plus so on up to x to the power n using constructor let us begin with the preprocessor directives hash include io stream dot h the next preprocessor directive is hash include console input output dot h now we are going to define a class called series curly open brace and here we are going to declare two variables int x comma n in public section we are going to define the constructor so here constructor is a special member function which is used to initialize data members of the class and name of the function should be same as that of the class name and it should not return any type not even wide so here i'm going to write series int x1 comma int n1 curly open brace here i'm going to write x is equal to x1 and n is equal to n1 and curly closing brace here definition of the constructor says that constructor is a special member function which is used to initialize data members of the class now let us declare one more user defined function called wide display so here we are going to declare this and outside the class definition we are going to define this particular function now curly closing brace for this opening brace of class definition and put semicolon that indicates it's a termination point of a class definition now we are going to define this user defined function display outside of the class definition so here i'm going to write wide name of the class is series scope resolution operator and name of the function is display and in a curly open brace i'm going to declare a variable called sum int sum is equated with value 1 for int i is equal to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus so you can declare variable anywhere because we have not declared i over here so that's the reason i have written here int i is equal to 0 now curly open brace now i'm going to write sum is equal to sum into x semicolon sum is equal to sum plus one and semicolon curly closing brace for this iterative statement now i'm going to write c out sum of this series one plus x plus x to the power two plus so on up to x to the power n is equal to so it should display the result sum next curly closing brace for this opening brace of display function now it's time to create an object of this particular class so we'll write wide main function curly open brace i'm going to declare two variables int x1 comma n1 clr scr function which is used to clear the screen if you want to write you can write otherwise you can omit this now let us ask the user to enter the value of x so see out in a double quotation mark i'll write enter the value of x so end the double quotation mark will receive the input value from the user using cn stream extraction operator and here i'm going to write x1 next see out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i'll write enter the value of n and next scene here we'll write n1 and semicolon now i'm going to write series is the name of the class then i'm going to write yes and inside of the bracket i'm going to pass x1 comma n1 as an arguments next i'll write yes dot display because display is a normal function 
user defined function so that's the reason i have to use this object yes dot display to call the display function explicitly for constructor automatically as soon as the object of the class is created this particular function will get invoked that is constructor will get invoked as soon as the object of the class is created now i'm going to write get ch function and then closing brace now let us check out the output as soon as we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the value of x here i'm going to write enter the value of x for example i'm going to enter 2 so 2 will be stored in x1 see out enter the value of n so here it is going to ask enter the value of n now i'm going to enter 3 so 3 will be stored in n1 so using series s of x1 n1 so this is called implicit call of the constructor 2 comma 3 we are passing to this particular constructor so here in turn x1 is initialized to x n1 is in turn initialized to n now x is 2 and n is 3 after initialization control again comes back to the main function s dot display will be called once the compiler encounters with this particular function call control jumps to this function definition and it is going to initialize sum is equal to 1 and here we have written for int i is equal to 0 i is less than n i plus plus so sum is equal to sum into x sum is equal to sum plus 1 so before we see the logic we will manually do the calculation and check out how exactly it works so sum of the series is 1 plus x plus x to the power 2 plus so on up to x to the power n so here we will substitute the value of x and n so 1 plus x value is 2 plus again x value is 2 2 to the power 2 so n value is what 2 here it is 3 so again i have to take x to the power uh, 3 that is 2 to the power 3 and i have to stop now we will simplify this one 1 plus 2 plus 2 to the 4 plus 2 to the power 3 gives me 8 so here you can see 8 plus 4 is 12 12 plus 2 is 14 14 plus 1 is 15 so i should get 15 as a result so we will check out this particular logic now we'll write sum is equal to for the first time i is equal to 0 0 is less than n because n value is 3 so it is true and once it is true the control enters into the body of this for loop and it is going to execute both of these two statements so first statement says that sum is equal to sum into x sum value is equated with value 1 into x value is what 2 so 1 into 2 is 2 is equated to sum so second statement sum is equal to sum plus 1 so sum is 2 now plus 1 is equal to 3 so first iteration is over again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 1 1 is less than 3 because n value is 3 yes it is true so both of these two statements will get executed once again sum is equal to sum into x now sum value is 3 into x value is 2 2 3 is a 6 so second statement is sum is equal to sum plus 1 so sum is 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 so second iteration is also over again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 2 2 is less than 3 yes condition is true once again both of these two statements will get executed sum is equal to sum into x so sum is 7 into x is what 2 so 7 to the 14 now sum is equal to sum plus 1 sum is 14 plus 1 is equal to 15 so this is the third iteration once again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 3 3 is less than 3 no condition is false once the condition is false the control comes out of this looping construct and it is going to execute the next statement here the next statement is sum of the series is so it is going to print sum of the series 1 plus x plus 
x to the power 2 plus so on up to x to the power n is equal to will be printed as it is next sum value will be printed here the latest sum is 15 so it is going to display 15 now it's time to go for execution of this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen i have already written this program in turbo c++ compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error let us execute this program by pressing ctrl f9 here it is asking the user to enter the value of x i'm going to enter 2 now it is asking the value of n now i'm going to enter 3 and i'll press enter now you can see the sum of the series is showing 15 i hope you understood if yes please write down yes in the comment box thank you